Yes, thanks very much, Kath. Leila, you just said you're just catching your breath there. You kept into eight in that first half, and I, I think that probably sums up why you're here as our player of the match, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, it was a tough game. Like, it was one of those games when we came up at half-time, it didn't feel like the score reflected. Um, Pulse are good contenders. Spicy encounter, it was, it was tough out there, so happy to have kept them to eight, but it, it certainly wasn't easy. And you have kind of fought your way back a little bit. Do you feel like you're really hitting your, your straps now? Yeah, I feel a lot better. It's, um, it's a long journey back from injury. And I think you, you get on court and you, you don't feel yourself. And I think I definitely over the past kind of 12 to 18 months haven't quite felt myself. So certainly these last few weeks have started to feel a, a bit more like how I felt before and just taking it one game at a time really and just trying to like celebrate the things that I couldn't do last week and keep building. It helps, doesn't it, when you're playing in a side that just keeps winning? Oh, and it helps playing with all those guys. Like, it's such a solid squad. Everyone gets on really well and it's just a really great environment to be in. So, um, happy that we were eight from eight, I think, but happy to be part of a squad that's, like, really united this season. Well, very well played today. You are our player of the match. You can just take that rather small check oh, over there. Fantastic. Take your bottle of bubbly and don't forget your medal either. Thanks so much. And well played, Leila. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Anna's just going to step in and join oh, us. Now. Anna, you just gave Layla a big old clap and a little bit of an elbow touch. Phenomenal performance from her, and she, she was pretty honest. She said, it's been really tough. Uh, but do you know what? She said, I'm beginning to feel like myself out there. Yeah, she, I, I thought she was outstanding today. I actually thought that a couple of rounds ago, she, she really, it was the old Layla back, and I think she's taken such strides forward, not only on a defensive effort, we know she's prolific defensively, but I thought attacking, she was great today as well. And she's a big voice out there for you. Not that you really needed too much of that today. Did you, in the end, it was comprehensive. What did you get from that win? Um, I, I think we really built, and I think we were talking about, again, unit pressure in terms of defensively. You know, to lose Immo early on, I thought Tash just came in seamlessly. I think, again, um, Ebbs and Layla kind of really commanding in that area, demanding what they wanted out in front, so that was really pleasing. But it, it shouldn't go unsaid, you know, the goal attacks and wing attacks and the goal shooters in our team, they really build that defensive pressure. If we've lost possession, how we can, again, try to build to, to enable them to go for ball. That's been the story as, of your season so far in terms of that seamlessness, that you've be been able to blood and give exposure to some of those youngsters. You're in an ideal position, aren't you? You know who your strongest seven are, but if for whatever reason they have to go off like Imogen, then you've got ready made replacements available. I, I think what's brilliant about the depth of this squad is also the, the, the personnel matchup. So I think, yes, you know, you can look at a squad and say, okay, that's what their starting seven is going to be. Actually, if we want, you know, a, a holding uh, circle in terms of a shooter in there, Jess, I thought was brilliant when we injected her at wing attack and then to centre. You know, we, we, we need to make sure that we've got options. If plan A doesn't work, plan B, plan C, plan D, we need to know we've got different ways to win. And that's what I'm really pleased with today. I'm not surprised. Well played today. Thank